Welcome to the Infidelity Doctor channel. My name is Dr. Talal Al Salim, and this is the Ask Dr. Talal segment. Your place to ask me anything you want to know about affair recovery and affair prevention. Please remember that this is not a substitute for the counseling you're supposed to be getting. This is merely a place for you to get some basic questions answered and learn about my clinical insights when it comes to affair recovery and affair prevention. Uh, before we get to the question of the week, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can get the most recent and updates. So let's get to it. The question of the week is as follow. Is it selfish for the unfaithful to want to leave after the discovery of an affair? It's a very great question. So first we have to revisit what is the purpose of infidelity counseling. The purpose of infidelity counseling is to give people the opportunity to understand what happened, why it happened, assess the damage and figure out the best way to heal from this. And healing from infidelity doesn't always mean repairing the relationship. Uh, some people are able to repair the relationship and make it better than it was prior to the discovery of the infidelity. Uh, but for other people, they have to heal individually because uh, not everyone is going to be able and willing to do what it takes to rebuild trust. So uh, making the decision to leave uh, the current relationship or end the current relationship in itself doesn't always mean it's a bad thing to do or a selfish thing to do. It depends on the reason behind making this choice. So if you're the unfaithful and you want to leave after the discovery because you don't want to deal with the negative consequences of your behavior or you do it because you don't want to have to deal with the guilt and shame uh, related to the consequences of discovery then it is a selfish thing because you're leaving the relationship for the wrong reason you don't want to own up to what you did you don't want to learn from it and you don't want to get out of your comfort zone and that's not going to help your current partner in terms of recovery and also it's not going to help you because you you're not going to you're not going to learn why you weren't faithful in the first place in this relationship. Now, if you're leaving the relationship because you believe that um, despite your best effort to address the factors that have led to infidelity and making those changes, uh, the betrayed partner is not. Uh, willing to forgive and move past it, then that's a different story because you cannot have a healthy relationship if uh, forgiveness is not possible at some point of time. And again, forgiveness is not something that should be granted automatically. It is something that is earned after a lot of hard work to repair the factors or address the factors that have led to the infidelity in the first place. So hopefully that answers the questions of the week. Please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below about the answer that you heard uh, today, as well as suggestions of questions that you'd like to see me tackle in future videos. Until then, be well, be safe, and embrace the possibility for a brighter future. Take care.